I down the guy. I down. I down the guy. Oh, you down? I down the guy. Watch this guy for you real quick. Wait, I'm gonna play for a down. Okay. I'm going, I down too. Dude. Yo, what's up guys, Metaphor here, and today I want to do a bit different video where I'm going to be talking over a gameplay I got today on stream. I'm playing solo trios, and I kind of want to dive into my thought process on what I'm doing, why I'm doing it, all that jazz, so... If you guys think this is a cool video idea and maybe you want to see more in the future, let me know. Um, or if you just want me to keep doing normal gameplays, that's fine too. And like I said before, guys, I'm streaming every day on Twitch, twitch.tv slash metaphor. We are doing every day 10 to 12 hour streams, and I've been seeing a lot of you guys in the channel. So thank you so much for all the support lately, and uh, I'm sure I'll see more of you guys tomorrow. But yeah, so first things first, uh, we are playing solo trios. Obviously, I do this on stream a lot. Uh, I don't really try to win when I play this. Obviously, you try to win every game technically, but uh, I'm kind of just going for like a lot of kills and stuff like that. The idea is that I'm going to be sniping, um, but I do start getting off the off uh, of a bit of a heater today in this game, and I ended up pulling out a kilo to try hard, and well, you'll see how that turns out. Uh, so first things first, you guys notice I normally land Superstore. Um, I'm going to have the volume on, but it's going to be really quiet, because I'm obviously going to be talking to my chat and stuff, and it's going to be really, really annoying. So I'll mute it at certain times, too. So the reason why I'm landing over at Superstore, is, or landing at uh, Silos, is because... Typically speaking, uh, y if you go Superstore in trios of solo, pretty good chance you just die off the rip, then you're just permanently sitting in queue. So we decided to drop silos here. We got our loadout, or we got some early loot. Since I actually picked up some high tier weapons, plus a full blade box, I opted into going over to hangers early in order to contest the people who are fighting here and third party them. So that's why, typically if I didn't find good stuff here, this is actually the best floor loot one of the best for loot guns in the entire game, the MAC-10 off the floor is absolutely insane. So that's why I picked this up here. And uh, yeah, we're just going to head over because I am, in my opinion, I'm stronger than everyone here right now, even though we're in trios because of my loadout right now. So, um, I hear people fighting right now, so I'm kind of just trying to get some intel. This guy was going up the stairs. You'll see me just pop this guy. Actually, I don't pop that guy. Get the guy right down there. I don't really need to talk about too much about decision making right here. I'm um, kind of just playing off audio and hitting people on different angles. So, for example, I get the down instantly right here. We're just going to go over this again. I don't know where anyone is at this point, but I'm trying to get audio. Obviously, go for that guy. Don't shoot. Hold it. And I don't want to re-peek uh, around that alleyway again. I'm trying to change my angle because as far as this guy knows, uh, I'm actually, I actually have teammates, right? So this guy isn't instantly going to chow me. So what I'm trying to do is hit a different angle. And he might even think that if I hit him from a different angle, that I'm actually one of my teammates. And he might just completely back off altogether. So we get the double down. His third teammate comes to chow me. And we pop him too. This guy's got selfie, and it's an easy three piece. Back ten's absolutely broken, guys. It is. It is ridiculous. So I'm hearing more gunshots over towards uh, ten, and I'm just kind of looting right now because there's no point in me just beelining it across. So now I can go ahead and loot a little bit as I'm making my way over to my next destination, which is the gunshots. Here's someone rising, so obviously start pushing it. These guys were really low. I actually don't know how these guys are downed, but whatever. I'm not complaining. I'm trying to get more intel, because again, remember, we're thinking about the gunshots we heard. I'm trying to pick up any scraps they have here. I'm probably tabbed out or something. But yeah, even though we're playing trios, uh, we're still just trying to get as many kills as possible. Dead Silence is huge. So the reason why dead sounds here um, before I hear anything or see anything is this is a huge issue that I see a lot of people have with Dead Silence. Like, in Superstore and Solos, I'll kill people all the time that have Dead Silence, and it blows my mind. Because if 
the whole point of Dead Silence is that you can actually hear everything. When you're sprinting around the map, uh, you hear yourself more than anything, pretty much, and it really distracts you. But if you pop Dead Silence, you can actually hear people around you. So uh, I'm still headed towards the area of the gunshots. Dead Silence lasts a decent amount of time. I pop it, and I can hear this guy clear as day. And right here, we just heard him parachute off of uh, top green. It's a little bit hard to hear because I have it turned down a little bit, but I'll let you listen to the audio here. This is why we popped out silence early. Watch this. Boom. You hear that parachute? Free kill every time. That's why you popped that early daddy. I don't wait to hear them because, because if I hear them, then they can hear me. And then I'm compromised, so we definitely try to pop it as early as possible. And now we're still, like I said before, we're still trying to make it over to 10, because that is where we hear those initial gunshots. And we're going to try to fight some people over here. I actually can't remember if I find people here, but... This is where we heard the fighting going on, so we're definitely... Our idea is to clear this area of the map. Hear people underneath me? Ends up being a solo, which is kind of awkward. That was really awkward, but I just have a better gun. Straight up, MAC-10 is absolutely overpowered. I didn't expect him to chow me there. Um, the reason why I climbed here is because I thought that he was going to just run around the wall. You'll see. So yeah, this is a little bit awkward. But I killed this guy. I thought he was going to be part of that team, but he wasn't. And I heard him open that door, so I thought he was going to wrap around the wall. So I was just going to jump up and shoot him over the wall. Um, but then that happened, so whatever. And we hear one more running around. We're trying to run away as far as possible to get our plates in. And now I'm ready to take on the world because we have a mag timer full full HP. He starts rezzing, which is an obvious death sentence. So, yeah, that's why you don't res mid fight, guys. It is it's so bad and <sighs> it's just not good, guys. If your teammate's dead, unless it's safe, don't res, guys. It's such a bad idea. You're typically gonna die every single time against anyone good at the game. Now we're obviously just trying to get loadout money, which is pretty, uh, you know, normal stuff. We see a helicopter here, and the guy flying in the air. You already know what the fuck we gotta do. See him flying in the air, get the easy snipe. And now these guys are trying to go into the underground tunnel. Oh my god, dude. Like, uh, there's nothing to even say, chat. Like, uh, it's disgusting. I just call my YouTube comments chat. Easy three piece. Uh, yeah. Really nothing to talk about here. That's just easy. That was such a nice play. Easy three piece. Apparently, this place is really popular because I think I start getting shot at right here from the side in the crater. A lot of people like this little crater. I'm getting pushed by a random car. Oh, I remember what happens here. Beam in the car. I try to turn on this guy. This is such a bad fight. I gotta get out of here. I got stuck on the ground there. Um, I don't go down here because I don't know this area at all, so I'm gonna try not- I'm gonna try my best not to go down there. Guy ends up selfing, but even though the guy selfs, I can't finish him, because if I finish him, I expose myself to the crater people, and I'm not trying to do that, so... I'm kind of taking the L here and not getting a skill, but I'm okay with that. This is really risky, but it's kind of my only way out. I don't have any plates, so I'm kind of just praying to God I don't get shot here. And I'm trying to run away. I still don't have my loadout, which absolutely sucks, but... I mean, there's really nothing you can do. A lot of this stuff is looted, so... We're just kind of trying to grab our truck and go somewhere else and get our loadout. I think I started investigating the crater people. Get really lucky here. We get an orange crate and we get some money, which is awesome. Which means we get a UAV plus we get a uh, loadout, which is huge. Typically, when you're buying your loadout, you want to have at least 14k, no matter what game mode you're playing in, because you want to buy a UAV to get active with your loadout plus, I mean, your loadout itself. So I'm I'm doing I'm driving like this so I can keep an eye on the crater people, and I'm also not able to get shot. Notice how I keep looking over here because I don't really know what the hell's going on over here, and I'm kind of make sure nothing's going down. Looks like we're safe and sound. Also, I, I, I'm I so sorry about this, guys, but the quality's gonna be bad because I'm restreaming this off of my stream. Uh, my stream VOD. So, if the quality is worse than normal, I'm sorry, but 
this is the only way to do it. All right, so we have 13 kills with 80 left, which is pretty damn good, uh, and we're kind of just looking for a lot of action now. It's uh, not super unlikely that people won't have their loadout, but, you know, people typically don't get their loadouts or they're kind of delayed, so as soon as I get my loadout when I'm playing this game, I kind of just go hard, assuming everyone else sucks and they're not going to have their own loadout, so that's why I'm going so crazy right now and I'm going to be trying to push people. Gulagger just landed on me, we heard the door open, and we shit on her. So since that was a down, I'm kind of thinking that her teammates are coming, so I'm going to the rooftop right now in order to get a vantage point to see where these people are coming from. The people in the crater are shooting again, so I'm taking note of where those bullets are coming from. And I'm kind of just chilling out right now, listening for sound, even though I don't hear anything. Grabbing this bounty and seeing if there's any of her teammates coming over, because if someone's going to land over here, that's usually for a reason, right? So the bounties on the crater people, our truck's right here, so we're just going to head back over there and try to slay these guys out. I actually don't know this underground area at all. This place this place bothers me. Like, this this was not necessary. And then we see this massive battle going on over here. We have the Kilo. Now, I remember I said this in the earlier video. Um, I don't know if the Kilo actually got nerfed or not. It kind of feels a little weaker at range, but maybe I'm just a bot. I was missing a lot of shots here, so part of my accuracy, but yeah. Also, you'll see we actually have a really good position here because this truck, as, as you can tell, it's kind of blocking the line of sight of the enemies. So I can kind of pick my fight here. If I ever start getting looked at by the two guys on the right right here, I can go behind this wheel right here and kind of just pick off the guy on the left. So I'm in insane positioning right now to do whatever the fuck I want. It's just easy picking to this point. <laughs> it actually feels like the kilo did get nerfed. I'm not entirely sure. We turn around because the bounty... Again, I, I know you can go down that ladder, but I don't know exactly what's going on here. Uh, there's three people here, and this is kind of tough. These guys actually don't seem to be that bad at the game, and I'm kind of taking note of that. So you notice how I parked the truck to isolate this guy on the left, and those two teammates are over there on the right. So I'm trying to isolate a 1v1. That's basically what you want to do when you're playing solo trio, solo duo, solo quads, or if you're playing quads with your friends and your teammates die, and you got to try to do this. To get out of these situations, you got to try to isolate people, and that's what I'm doing here. We get the break on him. I can't finish him. And he chows me with no armor, bro. That made me so angry when that happened. So he chows me with no armor. I realize at this point his teammates are probably looping on my right. So I can't stay chowing on the left. But he's probably calling to his teammates in my head. I'm thinking if I'm that guy that just uh, uh, beat me right there. I'm saying he's one shot. He's one shot. Push, push, push. So what I'm thinking is if I check this right side. Someone's going to come flying around this corner to come finish me. Because I'm one shot. So I'm kind of uh, repositioning and pre-aiming to see if they're going to run into my scope here. And lo and behold, there's one guy. We try to get this finish on him. Getting a finish is so important when you're playing solo trio, squads, whatever. Um, I'm just going to say solo trios every time. So you definitely want to try to get finishes when you can, but you don't want to die for it. We put a lot of shots into him, which is good. If he doesn't have self-res, then he needs requ he's required immediate attention or he will just bleed out. Um, which is honestly almost as, almost better than finishing people sometimes, is making them need to get rest. Uh, because then it, it brings a teammate over and that makes the fight that much easier, right? So I'm using the same logic that I just had where now the teammate might be coming on my left because he's calling up or he, I just beamed him and if these guys are any smart they know that I'm just a solo so uh, yeah if these guys are good players they can coordinate that and play accordingly but I don't know if they do that. Try to take a weird angle. They don't really expect anyone to be in the truck at this point. So I'm, I'm assuming that one of them is rezzing. And I'm trying to see if I can get a free pick. Plus they might think that I'm pushing the right side. So I'm just kind of egoing right here by climbing here. And I'm hitting a new angle. That guy lasers me again. At this point, I, I'm actually thinking I'm screwed here. Um, because I have no more plates. And this guy probably got the res off. And I don't really know what to do at this point. I'm also running completely out of ammo. I do have an ammo crate. But I don't think I was paying attention to it at the time. The resin here, we have two grenades, which is really good on the refill. Try to get another down. Thankfully down him, but this is where we got to call it, guys. Uh, I tried to go to my truck, and the heat-seeking missile of a cluster snipes my truck. I was so upset here. Um, and then I start running. I just start running, because there's really no way I'm going to win this. I have no armor. And then the nightmare scenario happens, where there's a whole team right in front of me. Yeah, one right here, one right here. I think there's one more. Maybe it's only two. 
I get the insta down, which was so lucky. Thank God. We lay behind this tree stump, which is extremely lucky. This is like quick reaction time, taking complete awareness of our surroundings. There is three. I saw them. So right here, I'm pretty much screwed. I'm pretty much screwed. You gotta try to remember, like, I have like... I have like photogenic memory, so I'm trying to remember the angles they have and which ways they're looking at me and taking that into account. So we try to weave a little bit and then lay behind the thing. Right now, instead of just running, the reason why I'm backing up is because, again, it's still unlikely from the angle that he's on that he can hit me. And I'm trying to proc my health regen, which means I think you have to be out of combat for a few seconds. I don't know the exact timer, but I'm trying to wait for it to start going, and then I'm going to run away. Or I'm going to wait until the moment like I think it's going to start regening, then run away. So we finally get away. Um, I just try to create as much distance and to be as unpredictable as possible here. We end up... I don't know what happened to the hit markers here. That was kind of weird. I don't know how that guy didn't die. Apparently his teammates got wiped or something and I ended up getting the fin. So that was really good. Um, but I'm still, I'm still in the mud. I see this car as my kind of last getaway. I don't really know what I can do here and I'm hoping these guys aren't still up here. Um, and I'm just going to try to get out of here. This random guy is just over here. I don't know if he's part of that initial team, but we get a free kill as I'm trying to go for the escape route. I Obviously, I can't loot him because he still has two teammates as far as I know, and there's some bad guys right there. So I have some options here. Either I loop all the way around. I'm, I have a bunch of money, but I have no buy to go to on my left. There's usually a buy on my left, but it's not there. There's also going to be loot on the ground here, but if I get out and I have no armor, um, one of the guys on my right can snipe me. So I'm just going to keep going and try to get lucky and go to a buy at this point. Luckily, trailer buys here, but then I got I start getting sniped on my left, and I think I see one or two. Um, but I just make the decision that I I personally feel like I can jump this wall or go around the corner and get my armor off before these guys can actually kill me. So that's what we go for. The smarter play here would have been to ride around the fence because actually, if these guys were were good, they would have hit me right here, but they weren't. By UAV, I misclick. I, I thought I was gonna die right there because I misclicked. So we got one on the map. Thank God. Played up before I peek the corner. As I peek the corner, I saw the guy on my left right there. I'll slow it down. Boom, you see him on that rock. I take that into account. So now we know it's two people because one of them has ghost. Pre aim him, all headshots. Plays that guy too. I don't know if there's a third. Now, the, the thing is, is now that we know that one of them has ghost, that means there could be a third because they definitely have their loadout. When I just saw that one guy on the radar, for all I know, they don't have loadout and it's just a solo. But as soon as there's one ghost player there, I have to immediately think there's three, right? That's that's the thought process you have to have. And I have to play accordingly. So there's two down right now, but I just cannot take that risk. I jump up because I think that even if there's someone preaming me here, um, I have two plates and my health is regenerating. I'm not going to insta-die. Plus, there's two people down, so there's a good chance of going for a res. Luckily, I have... Again, I go for the important rule of trying to hit those downs if I can. It's pretty safe. Now, I'm thinking this guy's getting resed right now, and I just I just can't risk this. So, I am I think I saw a plate in here earlier. Yep, I grabbed this plate. Sovereign power. This was so lucky. This, this is some really lucky RNG. Um, what I think I could have done better here is as soon as I put this plate in, I should have bought another set of plates. Uh, but I got kind of nervous that they were pushing me, so I kind of created more space. I'm thinking right now that I can probably take both these guys with my plates. Uh, I saw some glint on my... Actually, I don't know if I saw that at the time. Yeah, I got hit by a grenade, or some people are throwing grenades on me. At this point, I think I'm dead again, and then now I'm really regretting not getting those plates. I don't know how close these guys are, so I just try to get out of here, and I'm really hoping they don't kill me. And again, I almost die. I can't go to that buy on my left, because they're right there. So I'm just trying to drive away and go to another buy station. I'm down bad right now, guys. I was really sad because this game this game started off as such a heater, and then I got stuck in random areas. This was super risky, but I needed ghosts. When you're playing solo squads, you need ghosts. Otherwise, you're just going to get gangbanged. Obviously, it's not good. Um, what I think I could have done here is, since these buy stations aren't safe, I was actually thinking in my head to go drive over into the gas right here and buy right here. I have a gas mask, so it's totally safe, and I could have bought uh, my plates there, but I kind of risked it and went to a different buy station. So the reason why I opted to go into the Superstore buy instead of this gun store buy is because people love camping in here. Even though the Superstore buy is actually way more open, uh, there's also a lot more kind of cover in that area, and it's 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 also like it's a lot more visible, you know what I mean? 
it's like the difference between like going into like a back alley and like going into like a lit parking lot. You know what I mean? Like I can kind of see I'm, I'm more safe in the open because like I can see more. You feel me? Even though it's technically like more open, more dangerous. Like this is I'm more safe here in my opinion. Get these plates in. Yeah, we are actually playing in a pretty sweaty lobby this game. The thing about playing solo trios and solo quads is usually it actually makes the matchmaking pretty uh, a lot easier because um, it tries to account for the fact that you're only playing with one person, so it tries to balance the game out that way. I'm trying to find some scraps here for lo for loot because I'm still down bad. I don't have any money. I only have two plates. I'm trying to find something. I don't know if I go for the scav here. If I'm just trying to find loose loot, I think I'll go for the scav, but maybe not. No, I'm just I'm just going for anything I can get. I was just trying to get vision there. I, I stop and stare a lot. If you watch my stream, you know, let's say I stop and stare a lot. Because I I have a really hard time seeing people sometimes. I'm sure you guys understand my pain in this game. Um, I, and I know you guys see my snipes and you might think that I have, like, hawk eyes, But I really do miss a lot of stuff when I'm playing this game. So you'll see me stop and stare pretty often just to try to get vision. And I do see people a lot by doing that, too. So um, even though, like, I don't see people all the time, I that helps me see people. So luckily we found enough money to buy some more plates. Even though we're going to kind of waste two of them. I guess I don't buy plates. Interesting. I don't know what I was doing then. I don't know what I was looting for. I guess I was looting for plates, but I wasn't willing to buy them. Hmm. I don't agree with that. I think I would have taught myself up right here if I was uh, to give myself advice. I would have bought more plates. So right here, we're paying attention to the fact that the bounty is probably on top of uh, Virgin. And they have to come in because of the gas. So we're going to try to get into a building that's kind of in the middle. And cut catch them as they're rotating in. We're kind of looting what we have to right now. I don't feel any pressure because I'm assuming they're just sitting on top of Virgin. Yeah, I kind of thought this was a bot lobby at the start of the game, but it wasn't. So we're chilling here, still chilling here, put a Claymore down because we know they're going to come from that area. Put down the Claymore. And now we have a really good vantage point to see what's going on. Here's someone on my left, get an easy kill. At this point, uh, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to catch people who are also rotating but are now looking at me. See how I stop and stare? Aim is really bad right there. I missed the kill. I play this really poorly. I got stuck on the door. And then I die. Play that really badly, in my opinion. Um, let's see. What could I have done differently here? I don't want to criticize myself and say I shouldn't have looked at that window, because if there's one guy on the floor, there's a good chance there's other people on the floor. There just wasn't. They were out top. Um, my aim is just not very very good right there. If I had perfect aim there, I probably could have killed him. Um, but whatever. This ladder push, like this is this is something I do a lot, guys, and I don't recommend this, but like I just completely disrespect the people I play against. And again, I'm not I'm not saying this is a good thing to do, because it's really not, but my mindset in these games is like I don't really care if I lose. I just want to get high. I just want to get high kills, and I'm kind of willing to dis disrespect people to get them. So I was kind of hoping he'd be laying in prone since we just shot him a few times. Right, he's definitely down to one plate. He probably has half a plate left. I'm thinking he might be plating up right now, and if I just push him, he wouldn't expect it. So I went for that. Was a bad idea. Uh, unfortunately, I bounced off the door or something, and I fell outside instead of going second floor. If I went second floor, I could have maybe. Uh, I don't know, like, nanny up top for, like, a little bit and waited for someone to come. I have stopping power Mac 10, so I'm still in a good spot. But, like, fighting-wise, I'm not... Right here, I'm in a very bad spot. But Mac 10 stopping power is disgusting. So, uh, if I could have just stayed on the second floor, I could have probably lived. But I misplayed and died. Uh, well, we can watch Gulag. Yeah, you knew Gulag. Alright. So, my thought process here is... Okay, I can't play the game anymore. I'm not going to play around floor loot. I'm not going to be able to get another loadout, right? Like, it's just, it's very unlikely. We're a third, third circle and a half, basically. Uh, the odds of me farming 10,000 money and getting another loadout is very small. So in my head, I'm thinking, well, if I can't get my guns back, then I'll just die and I'll get into another lobby, whatever. But also, the fact of the matter is my guns are probably still going to be there because we know that they're rotating out from the gas. And we also know that they have loadout, right? So if they have loadout, the odds of them picking up my loadout are very small. And I have a good chance of actually getting my stuff back.
The reason why I scope in right there um, is because I'm playing on independent, and when you scope in on independent, you uh, your screen zooms in, and I'm trying to see movement that I can't actually see. And there wasn't anyone here, so God bless. We got our loadout back. All right, people are shooting on top of uh, Virgin Tower, and we're just making our way around. <clears throat> There's not really much stuff for us to do other than exactly what we're doing right now. Like, even shooting here, shooting here is pretty bad. I'll, honestly, I think I'm not really focused right now because I'm talking to somebody in my chat. Someone was, like, in my chat being a dick, so I was, like, flaming him and stuff. Um, and everyone in, the, everyone in the chat was flaming him, so we're, like... I'm not really focused right now, but even if I'm not like hard focusing on the game, I can still tell what my what my brain's thinking, you know, while I'm watching. So, uh, like, like subconsciously, basically, because you play at a certain level subconsciously, right? Right now, we're actually in a, just a really disgusting spot because we don't have any armor and we have no way to get armor. Uh, the one thing we really need is we need to find somebody and kill them and get like a satchel or something off of them. I need to get really lucky or find some loot on the ground. So hopefully we find a satchel, some armor plates, or like an armor box or something like that. Um, but there's no promises. Luckily, I got some money now, so if I can't can get back over there. I can actually buy plates. This is why I started slowing down here because there's really nothing for me to do. Uh, the reason why I looked up there is because that's where the cluster went before. So I'm thinking there are people up there since we saw a cluster up there a while ago. I'm just being really passive here. This is going to happen a lot if you're playing solo trios or solo quads. You're going to end up playing really passively sometimes just because you have to. You can't just always rush, unfortunately. I hear people above me right now, and I'm kind of going up. I have this. I have a habit of just talking while I'm playing, so um, this isn't going to be the same stuff that you guys are going to experience while you're playing. But I lose focus a lot while I'm playing, just because I try to talk to my chat, answer questions. Sometimes I roast trolls in my chat, which is what I'm doing right now. But there are people above me, and like I said before, I got a lot of confidence because I have a max time of stopping. So we're chilling right now. This guy. This guy was sitting on the roof, and he actually saw my back going up there, so I was really upset here because they knew exactly where I was, even though I'm pretty sure... Actually, I don't have ghost here, so I guess I have a heartbeat sensor. That was also really bad. To have stopping power and not get it down while shooting, like, 15 bullets is really, really bad. You definitely need to at least try to get it down with your stopping power. You can open the door from down here and use this head glitch. I do this every game. Like, I do literally, like, any time I'm fighting here, I do this head glitch. Because it's, it's impossible to die here if you're sitting here. This cluster, at any point in time, could kill me. Uh, I, you guys have probably died from airstrikes and clusters from wall banging you. So I'm kind of scared right here, but there's nothing I can actually do. Except for just hope it doesn't kill me. One of them jumps off. I go for the finish on him. I think the Kilo did get nerfed. I don't know, bro. I can kind of feel it low-key. That down is really good. This gives me a lot of confidence. Because I'm thinking that was one of the guys off this rooftop. And now this other guy on the rooftop is going to maybe chow me or something of the nature. Um, and he's also going to be forced to respond to the guy that I down down though. I thought I could see his head rezzing there, but I actually can't. And at this point, I'm kind of upset because I thought that he was getting rezzed and I just didn't see it. But then the stun grenade comes. I got back into the God Tier head glitch. of have him power, so I win. Mac 10, so I win. Easy double kill, we get the regain. This is awesome. That's exactly what we wanted. Plus, we got a free airstrike, and I think we got satchel, and we got a self res on the buy now as well. We can buy a self res and a UAV if we wanted to. I throw the airstrike down right now so I don't get shot while I'm dropping. Uh, we know for sure there's one person down there because we didn't get the kill for it. It's also efficient because I'm going to be buying a UAV here, so having the airstrike is pretty useless. I probably call in the UAV here, uh, just because I don't know if they have ghosts or not, and I'm trying to cross into, um, I, I call the UAV in because I'm trying to cross, uh, you know, out of the gas, and I need to know where people are. So there's actually a ton of people on my radar right now. Um, I know the quality is bad because, like I said, I'm restreaming, but I, I'm actually having trouble seeing the people on the hill. And, but I know they're not really looking at me, so I'm just trying to get as much distance to them as I can to, uh, you know, shorten the gap between me and them. Yeah, uh, nerd. I... Apparently, I'm a nerd. Apparently, I'm on the roof as well. I don't know. I really want to get my ghost. I'm in a really good spot right now. Someone starts dropping on the loadouts. There's three here, so it makes sense. 
Try to grab my stuff and hide. Try to thirst this kill here. And... Oh, I don't know how... I, dude, I think Kilo got nerfed, guys. What do you think? I don't know. I think he should normally go down there. So this point, I'm using the one tick of my gas to go back in. Hide behind the hill a little bit, get that armor off. I'm kind of in a position where I don't really get to control anymore what happens. I obviously can't shout those guys down there, so I circle into the top of the hill to play the zone. I have the... I have the gas mask glitch, aka the Halo Reach glitch. Real real viewers know what I'm talking about with the video we uploaded a while ago. I'm not shooting at those guys because if there's people up the hill, uh, they'll know exactly where I am by me shooting. And I, even though there's a chance they do know I'm here, uh, there's a chance that they don't. And if I shoot, that extra kill isn't going to help me win the game. Plus, uh, they, these guys will just easily kill me. So, we get lucky. This guy slides right in front of us. And, yeah, we're kind of chilling on top of this hill, and then, oh, there's three people on top of that rooftop, mounting with kilos, and the game is pretty much over, chat. So there's pretty much nothing we could actually really do here. Uh, yeah, as I said, there's three people on this rooftop, mounted with Amaxes and kilos. It is what it is. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the gameplay, guys. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the commentary. Maybe you learned something. Uh, let me know what you guys want me to do in the future, if you guys like this kind of video or not. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you all today on my stream if you guys are there. And if not, that's fine. I'll watch you, or I'll see you guys all tomorrow in the video. Thank you guys. Like I said before, please drop comments, guys. I want to know what you guys want to see. Uh, I'm down for anything. See you guys. Peace.